Hello, I'm Kelly Swoop with your WMER 2 News Update. Starting Friday evening, people older than five will be required to wear a mask in public buildings and spaces. And a travel advisory will also take effect. Governor Hogan announced these new restrictions during a news conference Wednesday afternoon. The state will require masks in all indoor public buildings, including restaurants, houses of worship, gym, casinos, stores, and office buildings. Marylanders are asked not to travel to states that are labeled as hotspots for the virus. If you do travel, Governor Hogan and his team want you to get tested and self-quarantine when you return. He also mentioned concerns about the infection rate among younger adults. Contact tracers have found the exposure is coming from people attending family gatherings, house parties, and outdoor events. We're doing much better on our health metrics than much of the rest of the country. And we are doing much better on our economic recovery than most of the rest of the country. And we want to do whatever it takes to keep it that way. We've come too far together uh, to lose the progress that we've made on the road to health and economic recovery here in Maryland. The governor says the state is not ready to move towards stage three of reopening, but he has no plans to shut down businesses or impose a lockdown. Police in Annapolis are investigating multiple shootings that happened over the last few days. One of the victims, 14 year old Cameron Wallace, died after he was shot Monday night. And then Tuesday night, a 17 year old was taken to the hospital with a gunshot wound to the lower body. Both of those shootings happened on the same block. Anytime you have um, any shooting or crime of violence like this, it's, it's this, it's super concerning. Um, not only to us, but the you know, individuals that live out here in these communities. Police are still reviewing security camera footage of the incidents. Wallace was the fifth homicide this year in Annapolis. Well, the 2020 Maryland Fleet Week and Air Show is canceled. It was supposed to happen between September 9th and 14th. Officials say they wanted to make sure visitors, event staff, volunteers and sailors are safe, but said it was a very difficult decision. They will hold a virtual Fleet Week and Air Show event from September 8th to the 11th on social media. The Navy is looking forward to returning to Baltimore when visitors can enjoy the events safely. Some public school teachers in Carroll County are calling for virtual learning for the upcoming school year. They participated in a car rally in Wednesday afternoon with parents and other supporters. They say they want the Board of Education to get virtual learning right to ensure coronavirus safety measures are fully in place before returning to the classrooms. Look at the facts, look at the graphs. The coronavirus is in fuller swing now than it ever has been. And I think that if we just try to reopen schools, the virus is going to get transmitted more and more and kids are gonna get sick and they're gonna infect either their elderly relatives or their immunocompromised friends and those people are going to die. If we try to act like everything is normal and go back to reopening schools fully, people are literally going to die. The Carroll County Board of Education is expected to vote in the coming days on how county schools will reopen in the fall. Sunny skies as we head into the day tomorrow. Warm temperatures to start off in the upper 70s, but rapidly warming into the 90s by afternoon. The good news, high pressure does keep things on the drier side, but temperatures are still going to be in the 90s. As we head into the evening tomorrow, with daytime highs warming to 97 here in the city of Baltimore, 94 over in Columbia, 91 in Stevensville. Seven-day forecast shows rain chances trickle in by Friday, and so do cooler temperatures down into the upper 80s. That's where we hang out through Saturday. 92 degrees for your Sunday, but tracking rain chances through the middle of next week. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2 News app in your app store. You can catch our live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Kelly Swoop. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.